I'm gonna be working on the Hoopty Saturn in this video. My biggest disappointment with this car is it gets terrible gas mileage. It gets less than 20 in the city in the summertime. It's not too bad in the highway, it gets about 30 in the highway. So I'm going to do a spark plug change out today. I think the plugs are on top here somewhere, so I'm going to take this jobber off. It's just pushed down with rubber grommets. I believe the plugs are underneath this thing. So I'm going to try taking it off. All the bolts removed, this thing just came up with ease. I could probably unplug it, but I think there's enough slack there for me to get the job done. Looks like there's a couple coils underneath there. I really don't know a whole lot about new cars, just enough to be dangerous. I see there's a lot of crud in here, so I'm going to vacuum this up and I'm going to blow out all these spark plug holes with compressed air. You can see those plugs are down in there a couple inches, so we're going to need a spark plug socket to get them out. Here it is, it's a 5 ace. There's rubber in there that actually grabs the spark plug when she comes undone. One thing you can do with this is tape your socket on, because a lot of times it'll get pulled off by the spark plug. We're wondering if these are the original plugs in this car. Oh! oh. It's an aluminum head, isn't it? I, yeah, we're hoping we don't pull the threads out of his head. I think it's going to be okay. We're putting AC Delco's back in here. This is the factory replacement number on Rock Auto. We pulled out an NGK. I'm going to record both these numbers in my vehicle logbook in case the mileage gets worse where I can go back to this NGK. These new plugs are pre-gapped. You can see the protective sleeve on there. And if I remember right, Rock Auto actually has a gap on their website if you want to double check that. I should mention that I'm putting iridium plugs in this thing. I did some research and to my understanding that's what the factory put in there. And they're supposed to last a long time. Looks like that's what we're taking out of there. You can see some wear on these plugs, so there might be some improvement. Here's my vehicle log. I did a little trip here on the freeway. I was getting 30. No ethanol in there. Stayed up for a bit. Then back to city driving, it's back under 20. So here's my recording of what I took out and what I'm putting in to see how it affects the mileage. It's winter here in Wisconsin, that doesn't help either when you start getting wheel spin and everything else on the snow and ice. Not sure if this is the best thing to do to this motor, but I'm going to put a little bit of anti-seize on these spark plug threads. In case those threads in the head are in fact aluminum threads. Going in, being very careful not to bump it and keep the gap where it needs to be. I should note that these plugs are removed cold. You don't want to remove plugs out of a hot aluminum head. I'm just going to snug them up by feel. I got a little bit of dielectric grease up in these boots here and Shove this back on, try and hit all four of these. And I'll just run the screws back in. All right, I'm gonna fire this thing up now, see if it runs. If anybody has any ideas on how to get better fuel mileage on these cars, please post it in the comments. I will update on the video description on how my gas mileage was affected, if at all. Thanks for watching.